I am not answering any sexual harassment question today. Excuse me. Excuse me. And I will take a question as long as it's not about Libya, 999, or any of that other nonsense. Mr. Kane. Go ahead. Weren't you raised in Atlanta, Georgia? Martin Luther King's hometown. Question. How can two people who lived within miles of each other be so different? There is no answer. We can only imagine. In the summer of 1963, at the very height of the Civil Rights Movement, Dr. Martin Luther King's freedom speech was to be broadcast live all throughout Atlanta. that he didn't want to watch the live broadcast of the Green Line. He wanted a date with Gloria. And although she had a boyfriend at the time, he had a plan. Herman, I really just wanted to watch the speech with everybody else in the church social hall. But I can't let you go by yourself. If my mama ever finds out I was there too, she won't. Besides, you're with me. Do I one day I'm gonna come back to Atlanta? I'm gonna have a thousand people out here cheering for me, and I'm gonna be in there on that stage singing. That's beautiful, man. That don't work, I'll do whatever makes a buck. Why are those people stopping? I don't know. People are angry about the movement. I knew we shouldn't have come down here, Helen. Look, he's coming right this way. We should run. And I'm not running. <sighs> we ain't protesting. I don't give a damn about no Martin Luther King. He's a loser. He's gonna lose. Yeah, you heard me right. If he wasn't, he, he, he'd be a president or something. Not getting eggs and bottles and stones thrown at him like a shiftless nigga. I really feel sorry for you. There is no real way of knowing what made the difference between the two. But history shows when it comes down to self and selflessness, one will always show love and empathy for humanity, while the other turns his back.